Welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we are tackling a very iconic anime among the Yu-Gi-Oh! fandom, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds was the third series in the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. The 5D in the name stands for 5 Dragons. We'll get into the history about the show a little later, but before we get any further, make sure to subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any updates. Now, without further ado, let's get it. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds first aired on TV Tokyo on April 2nd, 2008, just one week after Yu-Gi-Oh! GX ended. This show eventually ran until March 30th, 2011. Unlike its predecessors, an entirely new game mechanic was introduced, where duelists rode motorcycles and faced off in a series of games called Turbo Duels. This was also the first series to introduce synchro monsters to the franchise. Similar to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, this series was actually not adapted from any manga, it was solely based on completely original material by Nihon Ad Systems and ran for the shortest time in the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. It only ran for 154 episodes, over a total of 5 arcs. So, let's get into the story. The Fortune Cup Arc Set in a distant dystopian future, people have been divided into two classes. The rich, who live in a place called Neo Domino City, and the poor, who live on a deserted wasteland called Satellite. 17 years prior, a reactor called Momentum within the city malfunctioned and caused a great earthquake that split the city into two parts. Satellite, the rundown and poverty-stricken part, aka former Domino City, and Neo Domino City, the wealthier and urban part. In order to keep the two areas separate, access to the city from the satellite is strictly prohibited and can result in imprisonment. Yusai Fudo, an aspiring duelist from Satellite, builds his own duel runner. But his best friend Jack Atlas betrays him and steals his vehicle along with his most precious card, Stardust Dragon, escaping Neo Domino City. Two years later, Yusai builds another one and secretly travels to the city to win back his dragon. Jack has made a name for himself and his monster Red Dragon Archfiend as the current Turbo Duel King in Neo Domino City. Yusai and Jack face each other in a Turbo Duel. During the duel, their arms start glowing red and a red dragon appears on the field, interrupting their duel. This attracts the attention of Rex Goodwin, the head of the Public Security Maintenance Bureau, who reveals to Jack 5,000-year-old secrets involving the people of the stars, a pre-Incan civilization, the Crimson Dragon, and signers, identified by a red birthmark on their arm that represents a part of the mythical Crimson Dragon. Goodwin also reveals that Jack and Yusai are both signers and holds a tournament called the Fortune Cup to find the other three. During the Fortune Cup, it is revealed that two other signers include a psychic duelist, Akiza, and a child duelist named Luna. In the finals, Jack and Yusai face off and the Crimson Dragon appears. All four signers then see a vision of the future of Satellite in ruins. The duel between Yusai and Jack then continues, with Yusai winning the duel and becoming the new Turbo Duel King. Which brings us into the second arc, the Dark Signers. Goodwin reveals that the Signers are destined to face the Dark Signers, duelists resurrected from the dead to serve the evil Earthbound Immortals. The Signers head to Satellite to face the Dark Signers, which consist of Roman Goodwin, Rex's brother, who is also a former Signer with the Dragon's Head Mark and the leader of the Dark Signers, Kaelin Kessler, a former friend of Usai and Jack, Divac, a thief who stole the ancient fairy dragon card from Luna, Misty Treadwell, a model who blames Akiza for the death of her brother, Grieger, who blamed Rex Goodwin for his village's disappearance, and briefly, Carly, a blogger who is in love with Jack. Yo, someone grab this girl a bottle of water. She is thirsty. With the help of Leo, Luna's twin brother, and Crow Hogan, Yusai and Jack's best friend, they're able to defeat all of the Dark Signers. However, Rex Goodwin reveals that he has become a Dark Signer and uses his brother's severed arm to become a Signer as well. With the power of both the Signers and the Dark Signers at his disposal, he wishes to rebuild the world in his image. Yusai, Jack, and Crow then face him in a turbo duel in order to stop him and the King of the Netherworld from finishing off the Signers and destroying the universe. Before the final attack, Yusai gains the head mark making him the new wielder, while Crow gains his former tail mark, making him the fifth signer. 
With the power of the Crimson Dragon and Yusai's Majestic Star Dragon, he defeats Goodwin, who along with Roman, sacrifice themselves to destroy the King of the Netherworld and revive the Dark Signers as normal people again. Bringing us to the third arc, Road to Destiny. Six months after the Dark Signers defeat, Neo Domino City and Satellite are finally reunited into one prosperous city with the building of the Daedalus Bridge, an intricate net of roads linking both Satellite and Neo Domino City with some sections also used for turbo duels. Yusai and his friends, now calling themselves Team 5Ds, prepare for the upcoming World Riding Duel Grand P, otherwise known as the WRGP Tournament. Suddenly, a mysterious stone falls from space, and Lazar comes to investigate it. He encounters three people from the Yiliaster organization. These include Primo, Lester, and Jacob. The main monsters of Yiliaster are called the Machine Emperors, and they can absorb Synchro monsters from their opponents. Primo takes over New Domino City, while Sector Security is investigating a turbo duelist called Ghost. Yusai, with the help of Jack and Crow, decides to fight Ghost, who is stealing Synchro monsters from turbo duelists. During the battle, Ghost is defeated by Yusai and crashes into a forest. Yusai then encounters a fellow competitor, Sherry LeBlanc, who is investigating the Iliaster organization that is reportedly responsible for her parents' deaths. Team 5Ds is also joined by a mysterious amnesiac mechanic named Bruno, who quickly befriends the team and helps them prepare for the WRGP. The World Racing Grand Prix is the fourth arc in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. The WRGP soon begins with Team 5Ds facing tough opponents, such as Team Unicorn, a world-ranked dueling team, Team Tayo, a new dueling team, and Team Ragnarok, who possess special abilities similar to the Signers. Team 5Ds eventually makes it to the finals and confronts the three emperors who are revealed to be three different incarnations of Aporia, a cyborg sent from the future to destroy Neo Domino City to prevent a great calamity from befalling mankind in the future. However, Yusai is able to rise above the situation thanks to using all three monsters, Shooting Star Dragon, Red Nova Dragon, and Black Wing Dragon. With this, Team 5Ds defeats them and becomes the champions of the WRGP. Unfortunately, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! and that didn't mean shit. So, we get introduced to the fifth and final arc, the Arc Cradle. Although Team 5Ds defeats Aporia and wins the WRGP, a massive citadel known as the Arc Cradle appears and threatens to crash into Neo Domino City and destroy it. Team 5Ds climbs aboard it to stop it, before reaching the core of the fortress, they confront three individuals guarding its access. Akiza and Crow face Sherry, who was promised to have her parents return to her. Yusai faces Bruno, who recovered his memories of being Antonomy, another member of Iliaster. And Jack, Leo, and Luna face Aporia. Leo dies during the duel and is revived by the Crimson Dragon, becoming the sixth signer bearing the mark of the dragon's heart. Aporia eventually has a change of heart and reveals that he is not actually the one pulling the strings as there's somebody else in the shadows this whole time that has been doing all of this BS to Yusai and the gang. And that is none other than a man named Z1. When the signers finally reach Z1, Iliaster's true leader, Yusai borrows his friend's dragons to add them to his deck and challenges Z1 to a final turbo duel to decide Neo Domino City's future. Z1 is revealed to be a scientist from the future who assumed Yusai's identity and traveled back in time to prevent the destruction of humanity. Yusai manages to use his friend's cards to perform a limit over Axel Synchro Summon and summons his strongest monster, Shooting Quasar Dragon. After Z1 is defeated by Yusai, he decides to entrust the future of mankind to him and sacrifices himself to destroy the Ark Cradle and save Neo Domino City. A few months pass after the signer's victory over Iliaster, and the former members of Team 5Ds move on with their lives following separate paths. With one final duel between Jack and Yusai, they all part ways except for Yusai, who decides to stay in Neo Domino City and use the research he's gathered to create the Fortune mainframe, which will ensure that Z1's future will never come to pass. The other signers leave the city, knowing they will be connected with each other and will return after fulfilling their own personal dreams. And that is the story of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and slap the bell notification icon so you never miss another update. Until next time, peace.